All right, so hello again. Welcome everyone to another video. This is Morgan Rowlings coming to you from the Church of All Worlds and the Old World Order. It's been a hell of a day. I mean, just, just lunatic. We set off this morning to pick up a couple of our friends, and as it turns out, they weren't able to join us at the moment. They'll probably join us later tonight, but... Oi, damn. We... We're on our way home and the car turns itself off because we ran out of gas. We thought the gas garage was broken. As it said empty and all of the times it says empty when it's really half full. Well, it really was empty this time and we ran out of gas and had to push it up the street a bit into parking and then Jim Melissa had to try and ask all of her family members for gas money and Finally, one of her aunts decided to help us out, and so Melissa went off with her. And yeah, now we have got a full tank of gas and enough to go donate plasma tomorrow. I already know what I want to do with the money from donation. And then we went and we picked up one of our daughters from school, and while we were there, Melissa decides to start looking up all of my old family, my blood family, the evil side of my family tree that basically gave me the thing I have now, the depression, and She found them. She found my mother and my sister. It's been so long. It's been years and years since I ever since I last saw them, or spoke to them. I wrote them a letter about two years ago, but they gave me no reply. And now actually you've seen their faces. Yes, it's just a Facebook profile picture, but it is their faces. And I haven't seen that. They have changed so much. I mean, the fact that my mother now has short Dorothy Hamill hairstyle and makeup on means that something happened. My grandmother is probably dead. The background for my sister's picture, it's a different house. It's nothing like the house I remember. They've lost weight. They, they are so altered. They fall the better. I wish that... Somehow, I don't know, I don't know. Half of me wants to come back into contact with them, send them a friend request on Facebook, and see if they even recognize me. They probably will not. I didn't used to wear makeup. I never dressed like this. I wasn't allowed 
to be different. And it was the fact that I was different that had me disowned in the first place. It's even a miracle that they even have Facebook. They weren't allowed internet or anything modern like that. I didn't even know about Facebook until I was late in my 24th year. I really... I know something happened. I have the strongest sensation that my grandmother died. And now my mother and my sister have the internet. It even says on my mother's profile, there's this internet company she has liked on Facebook. Whereas before, the internet was an evil, sinful thing created by the devil. So what happened? Obviously, my mother and everything she taught, and my sister and everything she taught and believed in, has now changed. Why? Is it because they do not have my evil grandmother's standards to live up to? My grandmother would hear voices telling her, this is evil, this is good, this is what you should follow, this is what you should avoid. Anyone who follows this, you must shun, you must punish, you must exterminate. And now my mother is following that path, and so is my sister. They cut their hair. They're not allowed to cut their hair. My grandmother forbade it. Shunned my mother for one week the last time she did. That means no meals. Nothing. You do your work, the same as always. But you don't eat. Nobody notices you. Nobody speaks to you, and if you speak to them, they pretend you do not exist. That was shunning to my grandmother. I've been within two days of dying from starvation under my grandmother's care. Why? Because the God, the voices she hears that she assumes is God, told her this must be. I don't know, she died? Or she finally got locked up where she's supposed to be. She's literally legally insane and should be locked up. Should have been locked up these many years. But she wasn't. I don't know why. Perhaps she is now. But I know where to find my family now. I know where to contact them at. I want to know what happened. What the bloody hell is going on? After all these years, you grow curious. I thought all this time that I had detached my emotions so that I did not care any longer. But today I find out that I still care. I still love my family and... I want to know what happened. I need my closure, if only closure it may be. I know that I cannot live on for the rest of my life ignorant of it all. This is the video I wanted to make today. And if this is all I create today, I want my viewers to know what is going on through my mind and through my heart right now.
It is so strange. Because last night I had a dream about them. I just remember feeling the burden once more of having to live under the roof. The burden of always being not good enough, not doing enough, not doing something the right way, at the right time or in the right way. The always, no matter how hard I tried to live up to the expectations, I was always failing to meet their desire. I was always inferior. And perhaps that dream was a sign to me. A sign saying, do not enter. Do not seek this door. Or perhaps it was just a dream, by chance. My heart does not tell me anything right now. When my heart tells me something, it always ends up being right. And if I do not listen to that, I always end up in a pickle. But right now, I have no feeling in my heart about it. I do not know what to do. For now, I will think on it. I don't know what to do. Please, if any of you are listening, are watching this video, tell me what I should do. Advise me somehow, some way, somehow. This is perhaps one of the most grievous decisions I will ever have to make. I need help. I admit that. I need the advice of someone who can relate to this. I don't know if any of you out there have such a broken, fucked up family as I do. But if you do, and if you ever had the chance to reunite with them, as slim as that chance may be, what would you do? I know that I am free from them to a certain extent, as in, I do not fear their judgments, but I do fear their rejection. They do not have any sway over me. They cannot shun me or starve me or anything like that because I do not live amongst them. But I am afraid of rejection. I'm afraid of... I'm afraid of the emotional hurt again. I escaped it once. I do not want to walk back into it. But neither do I want to forever curse myself for having had this opportunity and having walked away from it. I don't know what I should do in this situation. But I do know that I still care. I want to feel human again. 
I don't always want to be the lonely wizard. And perhaps if I do communicate with my family and they do reject me because of what I am, I'll at least know that I stood up as myself and received this rejection. Rather than having been rejected in a time when I followed their rules. Please, if any of you have anything to say, please speak. Comment on this video. Tell me something. Advise me in some way. And I shall act. And I shall receive either the benefit of a family or the curse of an eternal rejection. But it will come at a time when I know myself and whom I am. Thank you for watching. Whatever this video may mean to anyone, including myself. And until next time, Hail and farewell.